and welcome to my vlog it is raining out and I was just trying to stay cozy so I made sure we had a fire but then of course I needed to go check on my plants in the backyard make sure they weren't getting flooded because it rained a lot and this video is actually you know filmed a few weeks ago so we were getting a lot of rain a few weeks ago but it did wonders for the garden as you can see so beautiful And we've been letting the cats go out to explore and also be a part of nature as well instead of being cooped up in the house all day. They love exploring in the backyard and they love all the curious things outside and they're just, you know, getting acclimated to being able to spend more time outdoors because this is the, kind of the first time since we've had these cats that they've been able to roam freely outside in the back. I've been spending a lot of time in nature and doing oracle readings outdoors. It's just so much more fun, especially this time of year when the weather is warm and it's just fun to spend time outside and in nature so i'm just doing a little quick oracle reading and just sitting at my little outdoor table and sometimes it's used as an altar i love trees i've been in the park and just really loving all the beauty in nature in the springtime So I've been really getting into the study of different plants, herbs, flowers, vegetables, and things like that, roots. I've been also pressing up some flowers just for decor and they're so pretty. I've also been into reading a lot more and doing research and starting some little you know journals and recording all of the types of herbs that I use how I use them and this book right here I think I showed you guys in an earlier book haul um, I got this on Amazon I'm gonna try to link it below but if you have a garden or if you just like herbs and want to learn about them this is a really good book to use to record all of your findings and you can even um, write all the uses and all the wonderful things about the herbs that you research. And there's even a spot to draw a photo or put a photo or draw a picture. Excuse me. I'm going to be printing out a picture. I drew some, but I prefer to draw. And, you know, relaxing and just reading is something that I really like to do. I love to journal and I'm using some of my pressed flowers in one of my journals, as you can see. And so I really love to incorporate my garden and my journaling and my research so that everything kind of melts together in a fun way of kind of living life at this time, as well as learning, spending time with nature, as well as incorporating my journaling and a relaxation time so it's very important to bring everything together so it can just flow and also feel natural as to what you're trying to do at this time and right now i'm really into herbs flowers and my garden so it's going to reflect in my life
I love making my own potpourri, which are simply dried flowers, herbs, and essential oils. And this is my herbal money bowl. And I also add things for love and prosperity. And so these are some flowers from my garden that when they are done, they dry out and I add them to my potpourri. Of course, this is fancy here. And I've been learning a lot about different plants, flowers, correspondence, magical correspondences, how to use them in spell work, meditation, if I decide that if that's how I want to use them. And so I'm just really get, getting back into this whole learning thing. I always become a student over and over again because I feel like you can never stop learning unless you choose to. And the more you learn, the more you can really appreciate life and the beautiful things around you such as nature flowers herbs all the wonderful gifts that they bring so and even fancy you know she waits at this window every day for this lizard and the lizard visits a lot so she's always at this window waiting on her lizard and she plays with it through the window I even let her out a few times to play with the lizard and she played with the lizard she caught it in her mouth but she lets it go because she wants it to return every every day she sits by this window uh window i sound like Medea. <laughs> she sits by this window and waits for this cute little lizard and then a frog got in the house and it was on the flower moon and during the eclipse and also known as the frog moon and i thought it was strange that a frog got in the house but the cats quickly found it and started playing with it but we let it back outside we didn't hurt it um they just were excited to have a little friend to play with and visit her <laughs> So this was the eclipse and it, you can see the very start of it. We got binoculars to finish watching it. But then the next day I went and bought some really nice um, herbs to plant again. And after planting them, I wanted to do some more research and journaling. So um, I went back in and I also got this really good magazine slash book called Herbs at the grocery store. And it's really good um, these pages are actually a print out from the writing witch and she has an Etsy shop I'll try to link it below um, I just downloaded the PDF that she sells on her Etsy and I printed out my own little journal pages you can also use them in your book of shadows or whatever but I use them as journal pages I cut them out and then I glue them into my journals and I have some really pretty writing paper. Um, and then, I, you know, I have this witchy haul that you guys are going to see right now. I have some lamp oil and all this stuff is from Walmart. So we also have the mainstay candles after the lamp oil there. And this is salted caramel and it smells so good i love putting that in the kitchen and then we have a strawberry and pound cake and we have of course just a green candle and a white candle that you know you can use in spell work i also found this pillar candle that's green and it fit perfectly in this glass and so i picked them both up because you can reuse this glass over and over and write whatever you like on it magically maybe with a dry erase marker i also bought a beautiful fern house plant i need more house plants and this really pretty candiva um house plant too became this really pretty little teacup and it's perfect for my parlor so i'm going to put it in there so beautiful i also um am going to put this in my parlor too this little fern and they're so cute i also picked up some little candles in pink as well for my candelabra um i also got this citronella candle for outdoors you know you don't want to attract too many mosquitoes so this is really good for outdoors so i'm going to be putting that outside when i spend more time in the garden i also got this really pretty bird feeder it's made out of cedar and you just lift up the top and pour in the bird seed so i got some safflower seeds and these seeds attract certain birds so that's why i got them and then this journal to record down a lot of things that I'm going to be creating, especially now that I have a lot of things in my garden. I'm going to be making some bath salts, and as you'll see later on in this video, I will make you guys a really nice bath salt, magical bath salt for your ritual baths and things like this.
I also got these little single coffee pods that you can reuse, but I'm going to be using them for herbal teas so that I can put them in my um, Keurig and make tea without using a tea strainer or anything. I also got these little ice ball thingies. <laughs> you can make ice balls and then make floral ice balls. I also got these dryer wool balls. I'm going to be using these later on to create something magical as well. So you guys stay tuned and see what we create. I also got these really cute little glass vials that have the little pendant on the top so you can turn them into necklaces. Oh, okay, so we're making some mint and floral ice balls so that when these freeze, you can just drop them in your drink and have flavored water or tea, iced tea, because it is getting hot. And these are so cool. You just fill it up halfway and then you close the top and pour the rest in so they can get that um, ball shape. And then you, there you have it. I'm pouring some of my floral water in here so that, um, you know, just pop this in a glass of water or tea and you get that instant magical floral essence of um, flavor. Um, so these are really cool. I said they come in different colors and you just place them in your freezer and I will show y'all the outcome very soon, um, probably in a live video. So y'all stay tuned for the live video. Okay, so now we're gonna be making bath salts. This is exciting. I'm gonna be using all these essential oils and I chose lavender, vervain, and rose for the um, added dried floral ingredients. So after I crush this all up to release the floral essence with the uh, mortar pestle, I am going to be adding these into the bath salts. And the bath salts are just Epsom salt. And, you know, I also got one that includes shea butter and also sweet almond oil. So if you're lucky enough to find a bath salt that includes that already, definitely check out Walmart because they do have it. If not, you can add your own oils to the mix. It just depends on, you know, whatever you have available. So I'm just putting my intention into the salt. Now I'm adding in the florals, the dried florals, after I had already put my intention in. And I'm just going in a clockwise motion as I stir and get all the florals and the salt mixed in together. Now I am cleansing the jar that I plan to use to store the bath salts in. And this bath salt is for self-love. It can be used for also a love spell. It could also be used for love and lust and a calm, peaceful love. This is the best type of love because it's not full of drama. Um, I'm also using the same oils for these dryer balls so that you can kind of enchant your laundry as well with the same types of energy and of course I put it in the blankets because you know there's nothing better than snuggling up in a blanket that smells like love. Okay so now we're going to finish this. I placed a candle in a crystal candle holder as well as a beautiful uh, quartz crystal in there to kind of charge this and now I'm just having a glass of sangria and really focusing my intentions on what I want this spell to do in this bath salt. Now I'm outside allowing the sun to also charge this and it's very beautiful outside today. So I'm just going to spend a little time letting this charge also in the sun. So after a little while, I decided that it was time to put all of this in a nice jar. And this is just a recycled candle jar that I cleaned out and decided to reuse for something else. I love buying candles that come in jars because I can always recycle and use them for other things. Sometimes I throw them away when I'm like, you know, super busy or not thinking about it, but I try to save as many as I can because I know that I will find a use for them. And so this is just a beautiful way to display your bath salts and also to create a spell, a bath ritual, or whatever. You can charge with the crystal. You can also put the crystal in there to add more frequency and vibration to your love bath salts and then place a candle on top. If that, if you don't want that candle to melt, make sure it's in a little candle holder or a tea light like such. 
and just allow that candle to finish burning to set all the intentions for your bath salt for love lust self-love whatever it is you're creating your bath salts for um and here they are in my bathroom i have displayed them on my little window seal where i keep a lot of my bath products and whenever i'm ready i'll just sprinkle them in and have a very nice soak and relax now i'm getting ready to go and put this bird feeder up and hopefully this will keep the birds from eating my tomatoes because we have tomatoes now and i've noticed yeah the birds really like them so we're gonna give them some food as well and i'm just gonna put this on the back fence so the birds have some food as so well thank you all so much for tuning in to this vlog if y'all want more vlogs let me know in the comments if you have a garden let me know what you're growing and what you use um your garden for um also do you make any products out of your garden or plants or do you buy them and purchase them online also the links to the little book that i showed earlier and the stationery will definitely be linked in the comments or in the description bar so make sure that you also take a look at that and i'll see y'all on the next vlog or the next live whichever one comes first thank y'all so much and i'll see y'all later